Hi, Soil Love friends. I'm Anita, and today I'm going to be showing you the specialty bobbin case. It's a lot of fun. You're going to enjoy it. It's available for your Fox Soil Machine and your Viking Soil Machines. And inside the box, there is a, a specialty bobbin case that's white, or it's like a light gray. And it is different than your bobbin case that you get in your machine. So I have it already installed in the machine. I was going to show you kind of what it looks like a little bit. Let me pull it out here. In the bobbin case, you're going to get in the little box, you get an extra screwdriver and you'll get this specialty bobbin case. And it's a little different than the other one. There's a lot of different holes in it for different textures of yarn, for little textures of yarn. And inside of your box, there is a little booklet that explains to you how to use your bobbin case in case different yarns and different textures that you want to use. And uh, so I've really enjoyed that and I know you're going to too. So let's get started. Okay. I'll be taking out the old bobbin case and that comes in with your regular machine. And in your box with the specialty bobbin case, it's available for the Fof and the Viking Soil machines, but it's made a little bit different than the one that we normally use for everyday use. It has a lot of different openings for different textures of yarn. And in your book that comes with your bobbin case, it explains all those different textures of yarn and how to set them up. Today, I've chosen a lighter, a medium weight yarn, and I really like it. And I've already got one wound, but I'm going to show you a little bit of how to wind them. You're going to put it on your regular bobbin winder. And with your H up or with your F up, because remember, they're, they're almost the same. And you're going to place it on your bobbin winder. And you're going to take your yarn that you have that you want to, and you can't have real, I suggest not to use a yarn that has a lot of texture because if it's fuzzy, it could still get caught in the throat plate. So you want something that's kind of smooth, but this is too big for a regular needle. So we can still use it for the uh specialty bobbin case. So you're just going to go ahead and wrap your yarn around your bobbin, engage your bobbin winder, and then just go ahead and step on your foot pedal and you'll just go ahead and wind your bobbin like that. And I have already done it. Make sure that when you do wind your bobbin, don't make it real tight because you want to make sure that you have a lot of room in your bobbin case. And I have one already ready and I'm not going to put it through the tension. There is specialty, like I said, special yarns that you can put in there. I'm going to put my bobbin case in, just like your normal one. Okay. And I'm going to place the cover over the top like we normally do. Install your throat plate. And just go ahead and put your bobbin in. Go ahead and make sure that it runs, it moves freely like that. If it has a little too much yarn on it, it's going to have a little tug. So you want to make sure that it runs freely. And I see just a little yarn there. I want to make sure and nothing's in the way. You're going to bring your bobbin thread up your yarn and bring it up just like this. Real easy. And to the back. I'm going to go ahead and put our cover on. And we can start sewing. I'll show you. You want to make sure that you select a stitch that's a little wider and a little longer. And I've got some fabric already ready to go. You have stabilizer on your fabric that makes it a little sturdier. And you want the fabric side down on the throat plate. And just go ahead and start creating your stitch. And go a little bit slower because, remember, you're using yarn that's coming up from the bobbin case up. There's a lot of creative stitches in the 720 that you can have a lot of fun with. Just feel free to enjoy them and have a lot of fun. I suggest using a stitches that goes forward, not going backwards, because it can get caught in the throat plate. And they, make sure that you do not use your thread cutter. Just cut them with a pair of scissors. Isn't that beautiful? Very, very, very pretty. And you can become very creative with a lot of different things, too. I've used a, a little bit heavier yarns. It turns out really pretty. So the yarns, I even had uh, specialty yarns over here. So I'm going to slide on over to the Viking. And I have it ready with some red thread. 
similar to what I've already used before. I have my uh, I have my top thread here, and, and I've already inserted the specialty bobbin case into here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure, like I said, make sure that your thread is uh, coming out real smooth and even, no tugs. If it is, just keep unwinding it until it does, uh, you know, free up, and use your fabric face down and go ahead and lower your presser foot. The stitch that I'm going to choose is in our D selection. And I kind of like number 34. I thought that was really pretty. I've got my thread already in. I've already wound my bobbin and I'm ready to go. And go ahead and lift it up and I'll show you what that looks like so far. Isn't that pretty? Looks really nice. It's a nice little, te it's a nice texture for your heavier threads and heavier yarns. Some of the things that I've really enjoyed making was this little uh, carry-all. And I just put a few little things I was going to carry to class today. I used all my specialty stitches along with different textures of yarn. You get creative. You have a lot of fun with it. I'll put that aside. I made this, which is available for our, uh, from Viking. It was a free little pattern that they have and we have that for you available too if you ever want to come in and pick up a pattern but it's the triangular little tote and it's really fun to make but what is so nice i got to use all my decorative stitches along with the specialty bobbin case and whereas these yarns they wouldn't fit in the upper you know part of your machine you have to use a special bobbin case to be able to stitch those out i got a little bit more i used a little bit of heavier yarn and I did uh, use the yarn and put it on this uh, little bracelet. So I've really had a lot of fun and I know you will too. And a nice thing about it, bring some of your samples in that you do with a specialty, you know, bobbin case. We'd like to see your samples too. So have a good day. Bye.